Hi Libra, this is Meg with Padme's. We are looking at your June 2020 mid-month love reading and I'm calling in your angels and guides of the highest vibrations of love and light for Libra Collective. What is it that you need to know in present time for your greatest good, your most benevolent, your most benevolent outcomes for June 2020 mid-month love What's going on for Libra this month? Let's see what you got, Libra. Lots of stuff focusing on stability. And lots of stuff focusing on stability. Even the trajectory is talking about Hmm. starting the healing process of great disappointment and heart unrest. Let go of the idea that there is not room for you to find footing, grounding, stability, safeness, safe stability. There is, and your, your higher self is talking about you being an individual, being an individual, and really looking into the fabulousness of what being an individual is like for you. This is about gaining your independence and recognizing your strength and your willpower. Lots of strength here, lots of resources, about lots of resources. This is I feel, okay, so the heart of the situation is saying, I feel like I'm ungrounded, but in actuality, I have a lot of people on my side, on my team, in my corner kind of thing. There's like this huge legacy of people, friends that are like family or family that are willing to oh, help you. And then also I'm hearing, be honest with you. So you're feeling ungrounded in this, yet you are surrounded by people Huh, I'm hearing folks that'll help you, folks. Okay, happening now and into the near future. This is you resettling. Resettling into a place that feels familiar, like home, and you starting to build a foundation in a different way. So Libra, this is about love. Perhaps your relationship in love, but this is about regaining security, and starting to heal from a broken heart. This is also talking about regaining all these things that you felt like you lost. There's a harsh truth here, but there's also a part that is not being seen. So a harsh truth, yet there's a way to look at this that will help you to regain all of the the things that you feel have been depleted from you. Your angels and guides are talking about emotional freedom, emotional happiness, like the best happiness, emotional satisfaction that you can get in life. This is available to you, Libra. Let's see. There's a focus on finances or a focus on um, resources, time, energy, effort, love, information, ability to have abundance. There's a focus on that this month. Yeah, it looks like there's been some, uh, I'm hearing denial, but there's been some uh, discontent or some betrayal here or feeling like there was betrayal, feeling stabbed in the back, feeling uh, really upset. Then I'm also hearing that there's been some unconsciousness that was brought to very much being conscious. So it's like I've been unconscious for a long time and all of a sudden the truth has awakened me and I am conscious of everything that's going on around me now. Huh. This is the truth. The truth has come to light. But the truth, aside from something that seems like it was a betrayal or something that seems really harsh, it's also bringing you to such a good place where you feel empowered, 
where you're empowered by your own safety and security, empowered because you know that you can create safety and security for yourself, not having to depend on others, having your own freedom. There's also a resistance to not having your wishes met or your dreams come true. That's a good resistance to have, Libra. In the past, there's been some planning on, there's been some, I need to plan for big change to occur. So it's almost like your subconscious knew something was, um, something was coming closer. These waves were coming in and now it's time to heal and find your own strength and your own truth in this madness is what I'm hearing. You can be independent. You can trust yourself, Libra. You can trust your intuition. You can trust your guides. You can trust your own sense of safety. You can do this and you can build your own foundation. Start, start one step at a time. This is totally feasible. This is totally feasible and it's gonna happen faster than you think as well. Okay, Libra, I want to pull a magpie oracle just to get the energy. I'm hearing your sense of safety, but the energy around what's going on. Wow, um, this is a little spindle, like like Cinderella. No, like Rapunzel. Um, this is fairy tale stuff. So you can create your dreams, and it's like fairy tale stuff. So this is about partnership. You can have a partnership, but what I'm seeing first still is you creating this fairy tale life because you're creating it. It doesn't, you don't need somebody else's help to create a fairy tale life. You can do it yourself. That doesn't mean there's not going to be someone there. It just means you don't need them to create this space for you. I want to pull some romance oracle cards for you, Libra. What is going on here? I'm hearing you are being centered in truth. Your alliance with truth, your alliance with self-respect. And it looks like there are two cards here. Hmm. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship or has been wearing a false mask in this relationship. And it's time for you to extend your lighthearted energy to others. So here that is. Libra, there's been something in this relationship that has been not completely at face value, and it's time for you to extend your lightheartedness to others. All right. Thank you, Libra. I hope you have a wonderful June. Looks like there's going to be some stuff coming up to deal with, but it looks like you have every power that you need within yourself to deal with this and move forward and move on. Actually, I want to pull, right, I just wanted to pull one more card. This is the Five of Pentacles, and it was reversed. And what this tells me in your healing of heart space is that this is going to be more easy and effortless than you think that it is. I even get the feeling that you feel like that, that can't possibly be true, but somehow it's a lot more easy than it appears to be initially. So, okay, Libra, keep me posted and I will talk to you next month.